eight days ago, Endling released on iOS, and the day after I started playing it, and then I discovered that it was on PC and habitually, I opened it up with UModel and I discovered some developer maps. A few days later, after trying and failing and still trying, I was able to find a way to make those developer maps actually open up in game. And I'm going to showcase that. These developer maps were made, well, at least the Tony one was made in 2020, which is, a pro this is like two years before the game's retail release. These maps have to load alongside other maps. I'm basically just replacing existing UMAP files with those ones. So you can see on the bottom left that I have seven cubs and it's night number zero during the, the arson sequence. And to go over to the developer map, that would be either up and or down on the keyboard or up or down on the right thumbstick. So up, a down takes you like forward a teleport, up takes you the opposite, I guess. Uh, you can see these messed up looking cubs. Uh, uh, they, they are using a different texture and they're also using a different model, uh, like cub ref model. It says I can use a cub ability here, but I cannot, nor can I pet the cubs. Over here, there's an invisible trap. <laughs> you can see all these different types of ledges and stuff, and that one cub over there that's not using the messed up textures just falls through the floor upon jumping over that. Okay, yeah, here's different levels of jumps, different heights, heights uh, 0.5 meters, 1 meter, 1.5, and, and 2. Obviously, you can just easily hop up the half a meter jump, and you can follow the path down here. Oh, yeah, whoops. I'm gonna get back there. Now, this is strange. This is a pushing down a tree mechanic. From this side, you're just stuck, but if I teleport over here to explore, explore and interact with the world, open paths and navigate the environment, there's interacting here with an invisible bush, and then pushing the tree. And then it, the collision just vanishes at that point. It's pretty cool to see that there. Back on these ledges, here's the one meter jump, and it has a early version of the falling tree, where you unlock that one path in the first layer. It's really, really buggy. And now I'm underneath the floor, so the next thing I have to do now is teleport <laughs> to get back. Here's the one and a half meter jump. That was actually kind of impressive. This one takes you over takes you over to a test pool of water. That really just goes nowhere. You can't go over the two meter jump, but I wish you could, because if I go back to the one and a half meter jump and go over to this apple or whatever, there's an X prompt, but you can't reach it from here. Here's this, these two conse consecutive jumps with interesting camera shots. Here's a five meter climbing tree. <laughs> all of these were just testing things. All of these kind of gameplay features set in one place for the developers to easily find where to go for testing what they're making. 4 meter climb. Yeah, they also all have cub abilities, all cub skills, so they all follow. Three and a half meter. And here's jumps, here's a half meter jump, and there's only one jump. Actions, as the mother fox, fox, what? Whoa. <laughs> Forget what I said. Okay, actions, as the mother fox, perform actions like hiding, barking, picking up food, etc. And this first thing here is the entering the layer, but this is in the arson sequence, so it would just count as, like it says night zero, that would just bring you to the cutscene in the in the layer with the storm. Uh, but I can't go in right now because the cubs are marked as lost. Bark. There's um, that thing which doesn't even work right now. Let me guess it's triangle now. Here's digging in an in invisible spot. Pigeon. Use stealth to hunt. Just a dirty pro proto. Turns out that was... It's no longer a dirty proto. It was only a dirty proto when they first made the map with it. Here's knocking down the apple for the cubs. It's not letting me do it. Oh, there you go. 
cousins seem to follow. This one is so glitchy. Uh, can't sniff right now for some reason. Uh, mouse stealth pounce. The cub, the, the cube goes red when you when the AI detects you. Crouch while the enemy is not peeking. I don't understand this because there's literally nothing. I'm looking at an invisible mouse right now. There's no cube. If I take the cubs with me, yep. Yeah, they're gonna eat that. Now if I have the cubs over here, and I sit over here, I can press triangle on this, they'll just attack this made-up mouse that just appears out of nowhere, and then they do this dance. <laughs> now obviously, the, the, the trash with the bag, the garbage bag that'll suffocate you. Here's the spot to go fishing. Although, there's no fishing spots. Oh, yes there is. Yep, there, yes there are, there are two of them. Okay. And then there's this rabbit part. But, I don't understand it. Small traps, again, none of the traps exist until you touch them, so uh... Trap. Medium, use medium trap. Again, this is gonna show you something. Uh, the cub will assist you in taking you out instead of you making yourself go out. And that's good because then you can pass it. They'll disarm the trap. Obviously, trash trap. Walk here to move the owl. I don't even know what this means. This is probably not working anymore, but they changed it, how it works now. There's supposedly an owl here. I am not sneaking. And the owl is not being triggered. The refugee, wait, where- oh, there he is. That's- those are the guys that go- go around and try to snap your neck. Or you can fight back. Over here- oh wait, whoops. Bam. That was kind of a close fight, actually. I think I bit his hand or something. I mean, I can go around this way. Those cones are marking that for some reason. Oh, I can't climb when you're injured, okay. I can't jump over there. Although I wish, I wish we could. What is Sight Trigger? What's that cube for? Hmm, so the Sight Trigger turns on when I turn like this, when it goes back. Here's a fixed camera, fixed on the red the red sphere. A simple zoom-in camera. Demonstrating a bad camera transition and a good one. Huh. I mean, that isn't all that bad of a transition. But this is better. <laughs> Those comes are lost. Chicken. This is supposed to have chicken in here. But they're not in here. There's Molly over there, but I can't get over there. Here is the scavenger ring, which doesn't even actually seem to function. No matter what I do, I can't get the scavenger to shoot me. Here are cub skills. Again, can't use them for some reason. Just hunting. Walk over here, so then press triangle, and it has that same thing as before. Snapping that that mouse's neck. Climbing trees. Yes, the couple follow that. Digging. I think. Yeah, you can't trigger it, but yeah, the couple just eat it. <laughs> the cub just eats it. Repel. Yep, you know about this one too. Can't do anything about it. Fortunately. Now if I go back over in this direction, when going back a few, there's, there are more ledges, but I can't ac access them. Uh, it's like a bunch of paths connecting to each other. If you're quick enough here, you can just go straight into the, uh... No! No! Upon first loading this back up, if you were- if you were quick enough, 
You can go right into the den before the cubs are marked as lost. Oh. Once loading is back up again, and you're fast enough, you can go straight over to... No, why are they Upon loading this back up again, if you're quick enough, you can load. You can go straight into the uh, the layer uh, before the cubs are marked as lost, and it'll take you right to this scene. For whatever reason, after loading into the actual layer, after having the, the this mod with the developer maps in the uh, files, you can have you have what is this like all five cubs? Like there's all four plus a, uh, like a newborn one. You have the newborn cubs plus the the medium or maybe it's a mix of medium and large cubs. I don't know. I don't know what's causing that, but I'll bring you, I'll bring you over to the Tony developer map, the one made by that one specific developer, like Tony something, Tony raw. I remember. You see, the lighting is a little off here, and now going press, going up or down doesn't actually um uh, teleport me. For this one, you have to use the keyboard. It's the number keys. And the camera is like very poorly controlled for this one. Yet this was not. Des these maps were not designed for consumers like us to use. But they were left in the files, so I went ahead and played the game for a few days and <laughs> immediately started doing this. Oh, oh, this doesn't seem right. Why am I stuck facing this di this direction? Oh, okay, it's fixed now. Okay, let me go back to to path number one. This is basically a modified version of the actual testing map. It has some new things though, and maybe some things worth exploring. Just like finally being able to hunt a chicken. I am not sure where the cub, the, the developer cub spawned this time. Another two meter climb that you can't go up, but you can go over this way now. I think there's a way to hold, yeah, hold X to jump down. I see. You have like some sort of fall damage. Ooh, climbing trees with like those uh, axis thingies. Not sure where I just went there. Oh, oh, okay, I'm coming down now. Finally, finally, here are actual multiple jumps. However, the one meter jump just sends you straight into the floor. <laughs> But that's why we have the arrow keys to teleport straight back. The camera is not focusing properly, but there's explore. Various actions, including the pushing the tree down action again. You can see how this is just a modified version of the original developer map. Immediately I sniff stuff and I sniff the purple scent. <laughs> Which will do nothing because it has nothing programmed to it, but it will have this music playing for when you're following the purple scent trails. No longer digging in the air, there's an actual model for it now. Kind of starts to make sense now. Where does 4 take me? Here's collecting food. So all sorts of food, knocking the tree over. Or trying to, I guess, didn't work. Oh, there was a mouse always in here. You're just pouncing without a mouse in it. Camera zooming out a little too much. Oh, that, that's the trash, okay. There's a bunny this time. There's an actual rabbit this time. Who doesn't, who doesn't want to get captured. Whoa. This custom path with the custom camera actually works now. Where does this take me to? Oh, it's a roadblock. Straight back into the pool. It's gonna have a fishing. There's an actual fish in it this time. Oh, yeah. Over here, the f the scavenger's shooting right away. Now I have to see where I'm, I am. Yep, that was expected. R R I P. <laughs> oh. Whoa, why did the cubs just eat something in the lair? Oh, this time it's bombing right back into the map. That's good, okay. Anyway, probably five on the keyboard to 
have the traps. Here are the traps. Get stuck in here, other although I don't want to do that. He's getting stuck in a small trap while jumping in a bush. My that scavenger the scavenger just shot me without even aiming at me. <laughs> anyway, using shift and then the number of keys will take you all over to the other side of this whole map, which will be for the cub skill testing. Just as there was on the other map. They're all essentially the same, except there's push and pull and stuff. But there are no cubs to follow. Shift 2, shift 3. And I want to demonstrate this. I mean, I can't demonstrate it because it doesn't work, but this healing one. A cub with the heal skill will automatically heal the mother, the mother fox. Like will have any functionality because one the the cub is in here but uh you can't get out of this you're just stuck in the trap that's essentially it that i can showcase in the developer maps for this however i would be open to make a video on showing how to Unlock these for yourself so you can explore them yourself. 